Hello there, welcome back to this Sage Business Cloud accounting series. If you've joined the series here, please go back and watch the first video, the introductory video. It's important that you watch all these videos in order. They're all for your benefit. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do with Sage Business Cloud accounting is to ensure that the business contact details are correct, because if they're not correct, on Sage, every time you raise an invoice, they're not going to be correct on that invoice. And obviously, if you're sending invoices out to customers, you need your contact details to be correct. And that's the same with statements and any other documents or reports you're going to send to customers. So what we're going to do is go to settings on this top ribbon. It's usually the last option along the top ribbon. If I click on settings, we'll be taken to a new page and there will be a link for about your business. So I click on about your business. We then have the business name, business address with postcode, and also the type of business. Fill in this detail or, or edit these details. If we were on 123 Bookkeeping Road, but we recently moved premises to 123 Bookkeeping Lane, all we need to do is simply edit the information there and click save and sage will be updated going back to this page if you are a sole trader make sure the type of business is correct if you're a limited company obviously choose the limited company option if you are a limited company you'll be asked to enter your registration number as well as the registration country for the sake of this tutorial though, we will stick with a sole trader business. So that will be selected. If you are a limited company, the software isn't going to change by selecting limited company. The main feature is the chart of accounts will change slightly. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Um, but with that company registration number that you enter, that can then appear on invoices. And there are some other things that will change to minor things if you select limited company. So ensure your type of business is correct. I've got small business, sole trader, business name, the bookkeeping master is correct, address is correct. So let's save that and let's move on to the next video.